Yo, what's good, fam? So, we got the little clutch shooter badge. I had to throw that on just to, you know, see how it works, you feel me? So, basically, uh, it's, this badge is very weird. You know why I just call it weird? Because it says it's for, um, you know, the fourth quarter, obviously. When you see it says shot attempts that occurred during the final moments of the fourth quarter or any overtime period receive a large boost. But yet it's been proven that it works in park so it really doesn't go into the to depth about like how it works just based off the description alone because a person will see it and they'll think it's a trash badge because it doesn't work for park but it does it does work for park it's a very good badge for park and i'm gonna tell y'all why so basically you see i have this on silver and then uh the thumbnail is gonna be hall of fame <laughs> yeah yeah i ain't gonna lie but other than that, honestly, I really wanted just to put on this badge and, and go see what it does. Because honestly, it must. What score does 2K consider the fourth quarter in the overtime period? Like, when does this badge start coming in? Because it's named Clutch Shooter. It has to come in clutch. It's not going to activate for the whole entire game, of course. We got to figure out when it will activate for you, when it will start working in a game. What factors lead into it do? Do your opposing, do your opponent need to have at least so many points or do you need to have so many points or does it, it's just how long the game is. We yeah, well, you don't know. So, you know, I have to go into the park and go into the, nah, I'm not even in the park. We in a 1v1 court, we getting crazy with it. So I'm going against this guy and I just decided to use this gameplay because I didn't really have a, a spectacular game because when I really have a good game, a good shooting game, I usually like blow out my opponent when i'm like really on but this game it was like eh it could have been better you see i missed that shot right there slightly late so we're gonna it's gonna give my opponent an opportunity to score and you see clutch shooter has not come in no traces of it you see look at pay attention to my badges that pop up when i'm shooting you know just because it's on silver it doesn't mean that it's gonna pop up less than hall of fame it should pop up the same amount of anything so you see, I got him with that little, that's, that's an old move. A 2K vets know what that move is, where you just drive to the paint and stop, let them jump, and then go up, especially for defenders that's bigger than you, or defensive guys. Oh yeah, that's a good move to get them with. Learn that move, put that badge, put that move on your arsenal, guys. It's gonna help you out. But you see right there, he gets a little blow by, I, I, I ain't gonna lie, he, that was nice, that was nice, kid, you know, feel me? But I already have five points and he has two. All right, so it's not gonna come in this early, y'all. But what it basically does, it's the same thing as Volume Shooter, Green Machine. It just gives you that boost. Well, I would say it works more like High Zone Hunter at this point. It just gives you that boost. But it only works in late games. Now, the boost will depend on what tier you have it on. You see, I have it on Silver. And, you know, it's pretty obvious that Hall of Fame gives you a bigger boost than Silver. And I'm not sure about the boost percentages of what the exact numbers are. But you're gonna feel the boost. You're gonna feel, you know, you know that you're gonna feel the shot boost. Now, but the question is, when does it activate? Now, I had a few games to where I had I blew up my opponent, or I was up big, and it came in. I also had games where I was down, and it came in. <laughs> so for this instance, y'all gonna see later in the game when it popped up, but it only pops up once or twice. So that means it's a small window to where you can consider this a clutch moment or 2K considers it. I don't know because in my in my eyes, none of the moments are really clutch unless it's the last shot. It's like 1918. That's clutch, <laughs> but a really big shot, you know, not really clutch, but a big shot. And I heard from like random people that it activates at different times for different people. I don't know how true it is, but I don't think there's a set you know score to where it's going to activate because it's not really a badge for park it's more for pro -M. as you've seen in the description people use it for pro -M. you see i missed that shot right there like i said i had a bad performance so right here he is the score is 8 to 11 i seen people you know shoot when they're down or when the opponent has eight or they're up and it you know activate i think that's the number I think that's the minimum number
to where how many points your opponent has to have or you have to have for the badge to activate. But in this instant, I'm down eight. Um, I'm up. <laughs> he has eight. I have 11. So right now he has 10 and I have 11. And it doesn't work on layups. It doesn't work on no dunks. It just works on jump shots. So you see it's not going to pop up there. But the score is 10 to 13. I'm, of course, I'm up. And I'm thinking in this clip, okay, maybe since I have 13, maybe it'll come in. Because this is kind of a clutch moment, right? If he makes this three, he'll be up. You know, he'll, he'll be tying the game. And then that's kind of clutch, right? But it's weird because... It works at different times. You see, I could literally be up 19. Or let's, say, let's not even say a game point. Let's say 17 and he could have maybe 10. It'll pop up. Sometimes I've seen it and it was like, wow. <laughs> what? How, wait, what's the exact number that we have to have on this badge for it to pop up? So right here, I got the ball. You feel me? I'm going around. I'm trying to, you know, get my little shot off right there. I get that little shot off at the free throw line. Now the score is 15 to 15 and it came in. So I was down 13 to 15. I had to tie it up. My clutch shooter came in. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe after 15 or the opponent has 15, they'll activate. You see, I shot again and the badge came in right there. Clutch shooter. So that just boosted my chances off rip. On all he had to do was score 15. But since he has 15 points... That means it activates for me. So, right? That's strange. You got to think about that for a second. The badge activates whether you're up or down. You could be up big or down big. And it's up to 2K to decide when to clutch a moment. Because we've seen it activate when the opponent had 10 points. So, right here, this is definitely a clutch moment. This is what I consider clutch right here. You see, I'm playing defense, right? I know he wants to drive because he's not really that confident in the shot. So, he wants the easy bucket. You see, he's trying to drive baseline, go for that layup. I'm there, that's Intimidator. Video coming on that as soon. You see, I pull up and I make it just because of that clutch shooter boost. Even though it's not green, I have takeover plus all my shooting badges in that badge. So, that's going to go in. That's white. So, you see, this guy, he's abusing the little... Ankle breaker, LA animations, whatever. I get the ball. And this game is really different. But it didn't really go that different. So I'm saying, hmm, since scores, we don't know if score affects it. Maybe how long the game carries on will affect it, but that's not really likely because they don't they don't really count how long a park game is, right? Don't do they? Am I am I bugging? Do they do that? I don't know. <laughs> So right here, I was testing the little stop and go badge. You see, I got that bucket on the stop and go animation, which is trash, <laughs> which is trash because he could have definitely, you know, got to stop right there if he had some type of defensive badges. So it's 6-0 right now. It's 6-0 right now, right? And we already know it can activate at 8. Now, do, do, does he have to score to, for it to activate or do I just need 8 points? And it probably doesn't make any sense, right? That if I just have eight points and he has nothing, why would it activate? So we know if if you're just straight up blowing the guy out, he don't have any points. He hasn't even touched the ball. He hasn't scored for the whole game. It's not going to come in. But if you haven't touched the ball and he's blowing you out, he got at least eight points. It won't come in. Right? But let's say he has 15 points and you have eight. It will come in. So you at least need to score a little bit. Now, on the other hand, let's say you're winning, right? Let's say you're winning. You can have at least 15 points. Let's say you have 15 points and he has eight. It's going to come in. So my theory is. The opponent needs to have at least at least eight points, and and I don't I don't even know I don't even know how it would be for the other side though, guys. That's the question I want to know. We already know the opponent has to have at least eight points for it to come in, and you need to be winning. You need to be winning, and he has to have at least eight points for it to come in for you. But what about when you're winning? What about when you're winning, right? 
What about when you're winning or losing? I even mean to say winning. <laughs> I meant to say losing. See, you could be losing, right? You could be losing. Ah, I don't know. Let's say you're losing 15 to zero or something. It won't come in for you until you score some points, right? So you would need to score at least eight points or maybe 10 for it to come in. He has 15, you have zero. So you need to score some. It's not going to come in if it's 15 to zero. We already know that. You have to score. So my point is maybe on offense, if you're leading the game 15-0, it's not going to come in until he has eight points. But if you're losing, you need to score at least half of what he has for it to come in for you or else it's not going to come in. And you can see right here on the clip. What? Wait, what did I do to mess this up? I, I want to know what I did. I think I shot this many and I missed. So he got the board. He's going back out. I think he scores right here to, you know, to get eight. Okay, he got eight. Right, he got eight. So I'm going to get this stop right here. I'm going to try to get this stop right here. You see, you see he dribbling around, do all that BS. Like he shoots the mid, he bricks, he trash. I go out and I wait for him. You know, I'm trying to shoot the ball right here. I get a little curry slide and I green it. And the badge pops up. First badge pops up. And he's nowhere near me. I'm blowing my like seven points. Seven, nine points. That's not a blowout, but in park, yeah, that's a blowout. Especially on the 1v1 court. It's like, wow. Honestly, it's weird because <laughs> you could literally be down or up and it'll still come in. And it, I don't even think it came in for this one, for that shower too, because it'll it'll say the first badge that pops up, clutch shooter, it doesn't come in. It's kind of weird, y'all. But honestly, let's just run through a run. Let's just go through a recap, real quick, real quick. So, if you're down, if you're getting blown out, it's not gonna come in until you score some points, at least half of what he got. If he got 15, it's not gonna come in until you at least score eight, right? But if you're up, it's not going to come in until your opponent scores at least eight, right? And if it's a tie game, then 2K is going to decide when to do it. It's kind of random, but you can estimate when the badge is going to start coming in, y'all. But honestly, <laughs> let me know when it comes in for y'all. I'm curious because this badge is kind of weird, but hey. Let me know if y'all like this video. Make sure y'all like, do all that good stuff. Comment put down below. Do all that good stuff. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Let me know if y'all like the badge or not. Peace.